Sometimes in Excel, you need to get data from other files. So to do that, you're going to go to the Data tab, Get External Data. And depending on the kind of data, you're going to choose um, these different options. So if you're going to get a file from Access, you would choose the From Access button. Go and find where it is that you've saved the file, and it should show up. And then it's going to ask you some questions. Well, which one of these tables do you want to import? So I just want the customer table. And now it's going to ask me, well, where do you want it to go? I'm going to say existing worksheet. I would like it in cell A1, so this is good. And it's going to insert it. And if you need to make any changes at that point, you can. To clear data from a cell, you can just delete it. To move data, you get the four-headed cross, and you can drag data to a different cell. To delete entire rows, you can right-click on the ro row header and hit delete. Um, also the same thing for the column headers if you need to delete or move stuff. Again, you can select entire ranges, get the four-headed arrow, and you can move that data. And I have a CSV file, so I'm going to choose Data, Get External Data Group from Text, and you'll notice that it's right here, comma, separated values. And it's going to start asking me some questions. Do I want to start the import at row 1, or do I want to start it at row 3? So I'm going to choose row 3. Check off that my data does have headers. And then it wants to ask how you want to identify where the data is separated. Is it commas? Is it a space? Um, and you can even specify other. And then it's going to ask the format. So you can choose specific columns and let it know, hey, column 1 is going to be a date. and then you can hit finish. And then the data imports, you might notice you have a few mistakes if that happens. Um, you can just correct the dates to whatever they were supposed to be. And then you can reformat things if you need to get rid of certain rows that you don't need anymore. So maybe we don't need that row, you just right click on the column header and delete that row. You can do the same thing for any other rows. You can resize the rows to automatically fit the data by double clicking or you can drag to fit the data so that they're the proper sizes. We can resize rows by dragging down. We can wrap text, go into the home tab, wrap text to start getting the titles to look right. And again, you can move data if stuff is in the wrong place by grabbing the four-headed cross and dragging. And you can do a custom date format by selecting the data in that column, going to the number group, dialog box launcher, finding the date, and choosing a date format that you like. When you're importing data, it's important to pay attention to the file type. So this is an XML. I had one that was access, and I had one that was C. S V comma separated values. The file type will determine which button that I'm going to choose when importing this data. So this one I'm going to choose from other sources, from XML. Go and find the folder in which you saved the file and you'll notice that it's here. Now it's going to ask me where I want to put this in my worksheet. So this worksheet's fine, A1 is fine, and it imported the data. Sometimes there might be an error that you need to adjust, but not in this case. So again, to import data is data, get external data, and it depends on the source. So from text for CSV, from access for an access file, from other sources for XML.